Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to follow up to my last video about WP Vivid. Last time I showed you the installation and the get started with the backup and restore. Today we talk about image optimization. Again, we're going to use the free version. There is also a pro version. Let's go and start for you know with the actual free. If you think it suits you, you can go pro where you get extra features. Without any delay, let's go back to our pre-made website. I already made a uh, installed Astro Team with a pre-made template on it. The first thing you want to do, you want to back up your website just in case anything goes wrong. I like to use WP Vivid. Again, there are two versions. If we go back to the website, and we go to the products, you can see there is the free version and the actual pro version, all right? All the prices are inside here. If I go to home, or actually go pricing here, rather than through home, you can see all the prices. You can go to, from a blogger to the ultimate. There are two type, yearly or lifetime. It's up to you, whatever you wanna use, right? So, said so, we go back to the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to press plugins and add new. Again, if you're ready, if you haven't done yet, just make sure you follow my previous video on how to back up your website for free. I'm going to click WP Vivid and I'm going to choose the option compress resize lazy load images WP Vivid image optimization. I'm going to press install now. And once it's been installed, I'm going to activate it. Right, so let's go to the WP Vivid image optimization. And as you can see, this is the actual first part you get. Now, to get started, even with the free version, you need a free account. Right, so all you got to do, just tap your email address and create a free account. You will be emailed a API key that you're going to use here. Enter your API uh, license below to get started. I already done so, so I don't need to do it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my license API key and I'll be back in a second. Right, so I got my key here and I'm going to press connect to server. Here we go, that's been accepted. I'm back to the WP Vivid plugin image optimization dashboard where you can see you get 2000 credits and I think this is on a daily basis. So if you go back to the wordpress.org, again, all the information in the description below, you get 2000 images monthly, all right? Then you get each image up to, I think, five meg with a maximum, I think, of five gig. Again, it depends a little bit. I do, I'll find, and again, I gotta contact them because I think um, I touched my limit, perhaps, is one of the two or whoever comes first because I didn't get my five gig and and I'm not sure even got 1000 images and again in one month but again this is what they give for the uh, free ver um, free version for the pro version you get no daily or monthly limit you can convert it to w a uh, webp format each image up to 32 um, megabytes then the image format I also accept W, WebP and GIF, where the free version, I think is only JPEG and PNG. I'm not 100% sure, all right? But that's what you get. And you get also fast API and server, all right? That's all you get, pretty neat. Now, after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to lazy load, right? First, and you can actually enable lazy load. Now, media uh, laser load starts with you know works with JPEG, PNG, GIF, SVG, and content type. I think is thumbnails as well. So it can actually work with the content and thumbnails, not just with the contents. What I'm talking about, if you click on the image, right, it works with main image, but sometimes you don't have it for the thumbnails. But in this case, I think the free version also gives you the opportunity to do it with the thumbnails as well, right? The browser compatibility. You can use no script tag and location, the script insert also, everything works. You can do header, footer, whatever, right? And the animation, you can do fade in if you wanted to. 
once you're done just press save again it's up to you you got to enable it if you want lazy load right then you got the cdn integration you can enable that if you want to again don't forget to add all the information you need and make sure everything's done and press again save to save it otherwise it won't work we go back to the settings and here you can choose the cloud server north america that's all you get here and um, uh, europe soon will be free as well and here you can choose all the information about the optimization of the size for example for the thumbnails medium size large size and the rest plus all the woocommerce as well right you get that in the free version so once you're happy you go back to image optimization and all you got to do is just press optimize now all right so the optimization has finished press ok and here we got all the information about what has happened has used 1600 credits i think or it's actually left 1646 and we have optimized 354 images original size is 21 meg the optimized size is 16 meg or 17 or whatever with a total say 19 percent that's not bad so let's have a look the how it looks in the front end of the actual website all right so we go to the website we got this one i'm going to press f5 there we go and as you can see it doesn't look any different but old images are optimized we're going to go on the vucomer size it looks pretty good even when we zoom out you know on the actual image now we can go a little bit further and have a look again uh, just in case you want to see how good is your website again i'm not using any cash uh app, you know plugins to be honest with you on this so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a gt gt metrics um test and see how we, we go from there right i don't have any metrics before i done this but again let's have a look how it looks even though we don't have that part that information all right so again i expect about c as i'm using um, taste wp even though it's pretty good but don't forget this is used for people who do staging do some kind of a technical part you know trying to design a website this is not up op very optimized so the only way to optimize on, on test wp you need to install again a cache plugin and we're going to do that as well as soon as we you know we're done with this we have a look as well how it works but again i do believe bc this is what i expect and it didn't expect this the lighthouse did not we where well, we got to do it again and see how it goes all right so as you can see as i said i expected bc again if you look at this for example it goes up to 16 seconds and that is because of the actual performance of the server now even if we go and install a plugin let's say just out of uh, uh you know light speed one you know let's use light speed now that's a pretty fast and pretty good plugins if you want to just install it and forget so that's the my way to you know to go all right so let's have a look light speed cache now you can do optimization as well with this image optimization but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to leave it as it is really and i'm going to add the preset as recommended here we go apply preset now once i'm done i'm going back to the website i'm going to refresh a couple of times there we go now i'm going to performance and i'm going to retest with the hope i don't get any errors here we go guys as you can see the performance is 96 percent now structure 99 grade is a and it's only 1.2 seconds so for a you know for a website like this on this wp you can't go wrong and i strongly believe that the free version of image optimization from wp vivid is a great plugins that you can actually use and optimize your all of your images of your website and again guys 2000 and this is every month i mean unless you got something that you deal with images all the time but if you got a small nice website even with a small e-commerce this will suffice you 
And again, if you really want to go pro, you can go pro with uh, WP Vivid. Again, um, there is the option where you can actually have all of them. If you go to the pricing again and you go to a blogger, what it's going to cost you is for a year, right? It's two domains, $40 per year. I mean, even if you go to the lifetime for $80, right two domains for the lifetime you can't go wrong this is you know you get the backup migration pro staging pro image opt-in pro you know i mean white label white label on its own if you do website for uh, for clients this is something that you can't go wrong guys you know two domain if you want a, a limited domains 240 dollars. this is amazing so again you can get 20 percent off uh you know, you got a few hours left here. Again, take it. I mean, if you log in and you see 20% off, go for it, guys. This is the best you can have for this kind of money. I don't think you can find anywhere that you can beat these prices for the kind of products you can get from WP Vivid. Again, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget all the information in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you believe someone really needs this kind of information. And again, if you don't enjoy it, so be it. You can unsubscribe if you're subscribed. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.